This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, uh, another mixed bag trip, uh, because everything's been out here, uh, weak fish, fluke, stripers, bluefish. Fluke has been uh, the weakest of all of that, but um, yeah, so I'm going to just take it as it comes, and uh, I've got a real early start. There's nobody out here on the bay yet, um, and uh, see what happens. So I'm, I'm going to go for weak fish, and uh, I wasn't seeing this kind of uh, bottom activity last time I was here, so pretty encouraged. I mean, this, this looks really good. Um, yeah, obviously I'm kind of excited to see that. So, well, let's see if I can do anything with it. This video is going to show you one of the most incredible bites I've ever been on, and it does not start out that way. Um, but at the end of this, I'm going to break down exactly how long it took them to find them, how long I was on certain drifts. I'm going to break down all the numbers. But this is one, you know what, uh, on my deathbed, I'm going to remember this trip because it was so intense. Um, yes, yeah, so, all right, so this is uh, Eastern Long Island. I'm starting off here uh, looking for weak fish. I have been out for 26 minutes at this point and have nothing. And uh, I was moving from spot to spot and happened to see something on the fish finder near the bottom and stopped. And it's going to gradually, uh, over the course of just a few minutes, get me into um, just an absolutely incredible bite and something that really makes me hopeful uh, for the fishing, for these weak fish in the future. All right, you'll get to see the rig in a minute when it comes up, but this is a, a one ounce bucktail on the bottom, 40 feet of water, 15 pound test braid, so I'm able to stay down uh, under these conditions. And um, yeah, I've got a slow drift, 0 0.5 miles an hour, and these first couple of fish that come up are gonna be among the smallest of the trip. Here's a weakie. Little guy. All right, and the bulk of this video is going to be a 40 minute drift, completely unedited, except I'm going to speed up uh, certain sections of it. But you're going to see, as I did with a recent shore bass video, you're gonna see everything I saw the way I saw it. Okay, okay my regular viewers know that I rarely use bait, but um, getting started here, you know, when I start on weak fish, you know, for the f last couple of decades, there haven't been a lot of weak fish around. There's been some real small ones in the middle of summer, but uh, yeah, it, it's been a challenge. So uh, what I've got is on the bottom is a one ounce bucktail, uh, about a foot above that. I've got a 3.0 uh, Gamakatsu bait holder hook, and both of those are tipped, or at least the, uh, the top teaser is tipped with a four inch grub. And I'm tipping both of these with squid for now. I can tell you what you're seeing here, me tipping these, this is a, <laughs> this is a waste of time. This is gonna turn out to not be necessary. Uh, but, you know, I'm trying to keep, you know, everything in, in my favor um, and any edge I can get because, uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, weak fishing has not been an easy thing over the years um, in, in recent history anyway. So, uh, yep, for now, I'm putting squid strips on. I think I hit on the way down there. Yeah, real simple technique here. Just drop to the bottom and uh, make sweeps of the rod up and let it drop. Okay. So yeah, I was just about to leave this spot and I ran over some fish. Let's get a mark on that. Right, not, not much size, but let's see. That piece of squid back, you know. And I was getting hit going to the bottom, so it's so great to see these fish, though. Oh boy, I'm walking a load of fish here. Wow, loaded. Okay, so I, I I know I just found some weak fish because I I got two real quick back back and then um, I 
marked a bunch I put down immediately hooked up again my, my camera battery had died so I didn't get that and dropped them so I um, just changed my battery and then I'm gonna take a few bounces here and then go back up I've got a mark on the on the spot but I mean they're hitting hitting quite aggressively Oh. oh, yeah, they are down there. I mean, in fact, I think what I'm going to do is, um, Oh, nice. I'm going to use the trolling motor so I don't make any noise here. Because I don't have much of a drift, I can use the trolling motor to go back up. But, okay, that's fine. I feel like I'm on a pile of these things. As opposed to five minutes ago where I couldn't get a hit. I need to see whether they'll hit just the gulp, but... Let's catch them for now and see. Still marking. Oh, they are thick. Whoa. Oh. Ho -ho. I must I must have two on here. Yeah, it's two. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Two nice weak fish at a time. This is so wonderful to see. Wow. That's not a bad one, and this is bigger. Wow. Wow, and I'm walking all over. Let's, let's get another one on this. Oh my goodness. The machine is, is lit. Oh boy. This is, this is just, I, I, I haven't uh, experienced this kind of weak fishing, you know, at this intensity probably ever, certainly not since the 80s. And I realize they're not huge tide runners, but man. I'm going to keep putting the squid on and, uh, yeah, because I'm not going to mess with what's working right now. Maybe a couple more times and then before I cut another squid, I'll put down some, uh, you know, just two gulp grubs, but oh boy. Okay, maybe what I'll try here is I'm going to put one on the bottom. I'm not going to put one on the top. Still marking. So what's what's really neat about this is, is, I mean, I know I'm not drifting fast, it's like 0 .5, 0 .6, but this is a, a large school. This guy 
Got to get down to the bottom, that's all. Oh boy. Yeah, see so he hit the he hit the one with the squid. Still marking. Look at this. Oh, it's a, that's the biggest concentration uh, I've seen yet. I was just about to leave. I just hadn't, you know, I wasn't moving real fast. So I wanted to keep the, oh, I wanted to keep watching the bottom. Wow. It's another double. Look at this. I don't remember whether I had squid on the top one or not. So I'll know from the video. Don't want to break this rig, but oh, look at this. This is unbelievable. And it's still going on. Holy crap. All right, I'm going to put down with, with just gulp this time. Because I'm, I'm really catching. I know I'm gonna put on two grubs, two new grubs. It would be nice not to uh, have to deal with squid, and they're so thick. Oh, they hit coming, hit on the way down. Hopefully that's not a bluefish. Hopefully it was close enough to the bottom that I got to the weak fish level. Yeah, it's not a blue. Look at that. No squid, never made it to the bottom. That's, I think that's the biggest, that's the biggest one yet. So I can just do this with a gulp. Wow, look at that. Oh, and you can't get to the bottom. Definitely squid not needed. Wow, this is a, a good one or a double. Yeah, this is one good one. Oh my God, I'm still marking. I mean, I've been on this drift easily 20 minutes. That's it. You, you can't. You can't get to the bottom. bounces here. Yep. Okay, so one ounce is working here because of these conditions. There's hardly any wind. Uh, if it was breezier, yeah, you have to go up to like an ounce and a half or so because uh, when you go down and you make those lifts, you, you definitely want to be tapping bottom there on the, on the drop and uh, make sure you're in that near bottom strike zone. They're grabbing it while it's going down. It's like, you know, I'm looking to see the line stop going out, but it doesn't stop going out because something has grabbed it and swam with it. Oh boy, I'm still marking like mad. Oh. Wow, nice. So 
I tried for 20 minutes on existing marks and had nothing was leaving and got on these and now I don't even know how long this oh boy how long this drift is but it's just solid fish I, I, I know I keep saying the same thing but Jesus I've never you know experienced weak fishing like this before I think I got no nope, I didn't get to the bottom never experienced this so I guess this is gonna be a weak fish video I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna to do today I guess I know now spitting up the littlest tiny things that's great not having to deal with squid Normally I have to use it, oh. or I think I have to. Oh, there you are. Just boom. Okay, I'm still marking, but not as heavy, but still pretty good. So we'll see how that's going to play out. Oh, looks like I got, no, I didn't get to the bottom. So the limit on these is one at 16 inches. I'm not keeping any. Wow, now the marking started back up again. I'm gonna have to figure out, keep my eyes open and not like pull up. There's no boats. It's been rare that I can make a couple of lifts. <sighs> oh, just because I'm dropping, I check my hook. Mm. I might have damaged it or something. Wow, this one feels good. Yes, yeah, one nice one. I mean, what can you say? <laughs> and the crazy thing is, I don't even have marks on this this spot. This was between two spots. Wow. Nice. Huh. 
I mean, come on, look. Still thick. I am coming up though. Um, be interesting to see how long. This is not going to keep lasting. I'm going to have to go back up, and I'm doing that with the trolling motor because I am not starting the outboard here. Wow. It's like these are like fair catches here. They're not hitting the bottom. But I'm going to go up the slope here, so I'm going to run out of fish. Because I'm going to go into shallower water. No problem. Gonna kick that trolling motor in, go back up. Wow. All right, still marking some, but I'm, I'm coming, getting shallower here. So by the way, it's a, a Humminbird Coastmaster chart I've got on that fish finder. Just makes it really easy at a glance uh, to see the bottom contour. All right, maybe I'm could be out of them now. Oh, no. This has got to be like the last drop here. Well, it's going to be interesting when I go back on the video to see how long this drift lasted. I mean, it's one thing to find a little pocket of fish, but to be on a drift this long with this many fish. That's it. All right, incredibly, that wasn't even the best drift. All right, so let me tell you how the trip broke down. It took me 26 minutes to find the fish. That drift was 40 minutes, produced 23-week fish. Uh, then I, I used the trolling motor, ran back up the track. Uh, it took me, uh, e even using the outboard, it took me 39 minutes to find the fish again. But once I did, I did a 32-minute drift that produced 25 fish. So it was a couple more fish for less time and i think the difference there was i wasn't cutting squid i didn't waste time on the squid i'm going to leave you with the largest fish of the trip and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and hit that notification bell and please check out my new bucktailing course at saltstrong.com slash skinner oh yeah oh he's got a bluefish right next to him Don't want to shake the, uh, the bucktail off, or I mean, I don't want to bust it off. That's a lot of weight. Ugh. Wow.